Right, in this video we're going to look at solving simultaneous equations. Now, simultaneous equations is a very important part of uh, A-level maths. It comes up time and time again. Um, the reason being is that graphically, simultaneous equations is really the same as finding the intersection of two curves or two lines. Um, and that's something that you will learn as part of A-level maths. So the process of simultaneous equations, although it seems to have been a bit of an oddity at uh, GCSE maths and hasn't really meant that much, in A-level maths it does have a purpose. So it is very important to know how it works. Now question one, we've got 5x plus y equals 11 and 3x plus 2y equals 8. So first of all, number the equations 1 and 2. Now the reason for doing all this numbering, uh, whether you were taught it to do this or not, was really because I want to make sure that the examiner knows exactly what I'm doing. A lot of the mathematics that you'll learn for A-level maths, you have to explain and make sure that you set your work out in a neat way, um, and in a proper way really in order to make logical sense and also because it's then easier to mark. So this first one, um, well both of these are using the elimination method um, and the first one I'm going to choose to eliminate the y's. Okay, So I'm going to eliminate the x's in the second one, I'm going to eliminate the y's in the first one. That's what I'll do. So in the first one, to eliminate the y's I need to get the y is the same number. I've got 2y there, and it'd be good if I could get 2y there. So if I multiply equation 1 by 2, I'm going to get 10x plus 2y equals 22. Okay, so I multiply all the elements by 2. I'm going to call that equation 3. Then I could say, well, okay, well, I'll do equation 3, take away equation 2, and that will eliminate the y's. I'll get 10x take away 3x is 7x, 2y take away 2y is 0, 22 take away 8 is 14. So if 7x is 14, then x is 2. So when I've got x, I can then sub x equals 2 into one of the two original equations. So the easiest one would probably be number 1. So I get 5 lots of 2 is 10, plus y is 11, so y must be 1. Okay, so the solution to these simultaneous equations is x is 2 and y is 1. And if you want to know where the graphical part of this would go, that would mean that these two lines intersect one another at the coordinates 2, 1. Okay, so that's the next real step to that. But don't worry about that so much now. We're just getting used to solving the equations first. So that's the first one. Now, the second, because I eliminated the y's in that one, I'm going to eliminate the x's this time. Equation 1 and equation 2. So in order to get the x's the same, this is 2x, this is 3x. So if I multiply this one by 3, I can get 6x. Multiply that one by 2, I can get 6x. So I need to get them both the same. So I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 3. So we get 6x plus 15y is equal to, well, 16 lots of 3 is uh, 48. Okay, a little bit of mental arithmetic there. Then I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So 2 lots of 2. So we get 3 lots, 3x times 2 is 6x. Take away 8y is equal to 2. So I'm going to call this equation 3 and this one equation 4. So I can now do 3 take away 4, 6x take away 6x is 0, 15y take away minus 8y is 23y, okay? This is a bit where a lot of students would make the mistake and write down 7y here because they've just done 15 take away 8. And then we've got 48 take away 2 is 46. So if we've got 23, y is 46, then y must be 2. And then I can sub 
y equals 2 back into one of the two equations. Uh, I'm going to do the first one. Uh, sorry, I was looking, I was circling that one, but I meant one of these. Um, let's do uh, number 1. So we get 2x plus 5 lots of 2 is 10 is 16. So 2x, take 10 from both sides, is 6. So x is 3. So the solutions are x is 3 and y is 2. So in other words, these two lines would intersect one another at the coordinates 3, 2. Okay, And that is using the elimination method for simultaneous equations. If you're concerned about um, using another method for simultaneous equations, like the substitution method, um, it works in a similar way. Um, but if you started off with, let's say, 3x plus 4y equals... Um, 24, for example, and you have also had y is equal to x plus 2, then what you would need to do here is you would need to replace the y in this equation with the y you have here. And that, that means you could write down 3x plus 4 lots of y, which is x plus 2 from that equation, is equal to 24, Solve that equation to find x, and then you could sub it back into one of the two equations to work out y. Okay, so they work in a similar way, um, and generally these ones are more straightforward in that sense. Okay.